Hello everyone, and welcome to this week's new GT7 Weekly Challenges Guide for December Week 2. If you appreciate our videos and find them helpful, please consider subscribing. The first race is the American FR Challenge 550 at Big Willow for two laps. It is a suggested 550pp race using any American FR road car. I used the Chevrolet Corvette ZR1 C609 with 550pp. The tune I used for the car is as shown on screen. This race unlocks the first of the rewards, which is a 6-star parts roulette ticket. Race 2 is the Japanese FR Challenge 450 at Tsukubar Circuit for 3 laps. It is a suggested 450pp race using any Japanese FR road car. I used the Toyota Sprinter Truno 1600 GT Apex A86 83 with 452pp. The tune is as shown on the screen. Race 3 is the World Touring Car 600 at Grand Valley Highway 1 for 5 laps. This race is restricted to 600pp or less. I used the Toyota GR Corolla Maurizio Edition 22 with 600pp. The tune is as shown on the screen. This one unlocks the next reward ticket of 200k. Race 4 is the Hypercar Parade at Kyoto Driving Park Yamagiwa Miyabi for 4 laps. This one has no suggested pp, it is just restricted to road cars only. I would suggest anything 700pp and above. I used the Porsche 911 GT3 RS 992-22 with 699pp. The tune is as shown on the screen. Note the nitrous isn't necessary for this one, but some of the cars are very quick and it might be handy to help secure the win. The final race is the World Touring Car 700 at Red Bull Ring for 10 laps. This race is restricted to 700pp or less and has 10 times fuel and 10 times tyre. I used the Group 4 Subaru WRX with 699pp. The tune is as shown on the screen. The strategy for this race is tricky. It has random weather implemented, so make sure you have both wet tyres before you start. I did 4 runs on this one to test, and all 4 were different weather. I had rain every time, but the laps it came and how heavy all varied, which is the reason I chose the WRX for the 4 wheel drive grip advantage on racing tyres when it rains. I suggest aiming for a one-stop. Heavy fuel and tyre saving is needed, using short shifting with fuel map 3 to go as long as possible before it rains. The fuel and tyres won't make it for a no-stop, and the rain may ruin your no-stop attempt early in the race anyway, forcing you to pit for wet tyres. I pitted the end of lap 7 when it started raining in my race, topped up fuel and fitted fresh softs. The last three laps were wet, I'll put a few laps of how I managed fuel and tyres for this car near the end of the video. This will unlock the final reward which is a 6 star car roulette ticket. So some fairly decent rewards this week on top of the normal race payouts. Hope you guys found this guide helpful. If you enjoyed the video or have any questions or feedback, please let me know in the comments. I'll leave you with a few laps in the WRX at Red Bull Ring, managing fuel, tyres and the random rain. Thanks for watching. Cheers.